some stuff that isn't going as well, if you will, uh, among some private companies, one of which is WAG. Now, WAG, Kate, uh, I'm sure we all recall, is a dog walking service company, if you will, that uh, the Vision Fund poured several hundred million dollars into, I think, $300 million at a valuation of 650. So SoftBank bought in just a little bit less than half of the firm. And since then, there's been a number of stories coming out that it hasn't wow. been growing very quickly. Yeah. I didn't... I don't think I knew the valuation. Are, wait, they, they paid... They invested $300 million at a $650 million valuation? Uh, if, if my memory and our notes I are I guess I just up, didn't yes. cover that, but I didn't know that until you just said it. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, go on. So uh, the old joke that startups die of indigestion, not starvation, seems to be kind of at play here. Uh, according to a Wall Street Journal story, SoftBank and WAG are pursuing a sale of the company for less than $300 million, So there's going to be an enormous mistake to, uh, to be kind of like figured out here financially for the backers. Uh, it has about $100 million in cash left on hand, which implies that it's burned through several hundred million dollars while growing more slowly than Rover, which is kind of its kind of natural competitor. It's, it's Lyft to its Uber, if you want to use kind of a different comparison. Um, just, I mean, I, we saw this coming, right? I mean, I, can I just repeat some of what you just said? Because this is mind blowing. This company raised $300 million from SoftBank at a $650 million valuation, which means SoftBank owns half the company. Just about. And now SoftBank and WAG are looking to sell the company for less than $300 million. According to Bloomberg's reporting, yes. That is an epic failure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not great. I just wanted, I just want to make that really clear. And it's interesting because you, you mentioned Uber and Lyft, you kind of draw that comparison and I, uh, WAG and Rover seemingly are not like Uber and Lyft because one of them seems to be doing a lot better than the other. And one of them is a Seattle company and that's Rover. And, um, because they're from Seattle, I'm rooting for them. You're not biased at all about Seattle. I'm not even slightly. Nah. Um, <laughs> but, but I mean, okay. Going back in time to when this round was announced. Like, uh, I recall being skeptical because it didn't make any sense. I had a similar reaction to what you just had, if you will. And people said the only way this works, essentially, is that if WAG can go in there and deploy this capital in such a manner as to just push out everyone else and take over and use it as a financial moat, that was the play. Use cash as a way to build that competitive edge. And so far, I don't think it's just gone that well. I don't think that works as people expect it to. So... Um, we can scoot on from this. I wanted to bring it up. We've talked a lot about other companies that have struggled. This is another example of that. There have been layoffs at WAG, and um, I, I, we're going to be tracking this one carefully. 